We also decided to highlight some key crash workflows that are now available in an intuitive, uh, easy to use interface. Uh, and some of these were directly targeted as some key bottlenecks. So let's start with the new uh, seatbelt routing tool, which will create an entire seatbelt assembly all at once. Um, by directly operating on the model, we can quickly and easily select the proper components uh, to create an industry standard three point belt assembly with an anchor, a slip ring, and uh, buckle attachment points. We simply identify the components that we would like the belts to wrap around, and the seatbelt is routed automatically. And we repeat this process for the lap belt. When we're done, uh, interactive editing of the belt uh, is also supported, uh, again, using the model as a menu uh, paradigm. Once we're satisfied with that, uh, the tool allows for the automatic creation of our slip rings, uh, pulleys, retractors, and pretensioners by simply identifying them in the browser. In this next video, we'll walk through our seat mechanism tool. This is a generic tool uh, that can be used for any kinematic system. Uh, but in this case, we're showcasing it for safety pre-processing to adjust our seat assembly to several predefined positions. Uh, the mechanisms can be easily absorbed from existing FEA models as well. Uh, other binding additions, such as the dummy's hand or the feet on the pedals, are also honored. Uh, notice also that uh, after positioning, the belt does not require any rerouting. The last crash workflow that we would like to showcase is our new pedestrian impact tool. For this workflow, uh, we want to automate the setup of all of our marking and positioning parameters, which are also happen to be customizable. Uh, the tool supports all relevant pedestrian market regulations. Uh, to ensure correctness, uh, we provide the ability to validate all marked entities, construction lines, impact points, uh, and flexible tape. This facilitates precision and repeatability in generating our test zones with physical test markings. In this workflow, we can preview any of our final position impactors and export them all to error-free solver decks. So here we'll preview two different head impact locations, uh, one lower leg and finally one upper leg impact location.